Hello everybody, my name is Albert Kyle. I am the FGO localization producer here at Anaplex of America. Hi, I'm Michael, and I am the assistant localization producer for FGO here at Anaplex of America. Welcome to Caldea Broadcasting Station Live Volume 7. Yay. And this is the pre-release special broadcast for the upcoming event. Learning with Manga, FGO, and Fake Grand Order collaboration event, Serial Mythological Theater, Mississippi Mythicizers. Yay! And then uh, before we start talking about a new event, let's just do a couple of recaps about what's happening recently. So uh, we have uh, Spa Light Lost Belt. Uh, yeah, the videos program. are running. Yeah. yeah. So after we get the uh, kickoff, we have uh, a couple of videos coming up almost on a monthly basis. Yeah, make sure you check those out if you haven't already. There's yeah. a lot of cool information there. Yeah, um, you know, having the voice actors talk mm -hmm. about like what are some of their favorite scenes. There are a lot of information and kind of like small lore bits that goes yeah, on in those th videos. There were a few little things that I took away from there that I did yeah. not know going in, so it was really interesting. Yeah, so if you have time, definitely check it out. Um, the previous event, Water Monsters Crisis, uh, I hope everybody enjoy uh, the event. <laughs> we saw a lot of reaction to the art, to the event, and to the servants up here. So we have, we hope uh, everybody have fun. With that yeah, I hope event. you guys enjoyed that one. Yeah, and then let's review what's going on currently right now in the game. So let's take a look at first slide first. Uh, so learning with Manga FGO collaboration event pre-release campaign is happening right now. They include the login bonus such as uh, Saint Quartz and Golden Fruit will be distributed uh, through the login bonus. Also, all the statesmen uh, will be exchangeable for free in the exchange rare prison section of the shop. And then also the wardrobe key acquisition quest for Paul Bunyan's spare John dress, Mad Bunny, will also be added to the dressmaking section. Even more learning with manga fake grand order release celebration quest is back for a limited time. So if you have missed this, this original event was, was available for a long time ago. That was the very first anime expo I did. Oh really? Yeah, that was that was the wow. first, that was during USA <laughs> tour I think. So, so that's already that a couple of years back. ago. <laughs> that's been a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really fun event though. So if yeah. you haven't done it, this is a really great time to do uh, probably one of the sillier things in in my memory of FGO. Yeah, so definitely check it out. Uh, the campaign will end on April twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. So please uh, use this time. And then also to go along with that, we also have a Learning with Manga FGO collaboration event pre-release pickup summoned. And that is happening right now. The servants you see on the screen will be part of the pickup. So if you have not have them and you've been waiting for this time to either uh, summon them for the first time or get multiple uh, normal phantasm copies, this yeah. is your time. And also servant coins, we all know they're very important. They are very important. <laughs> We've got all your Astolfo and Da Vinci needs <laughs> in these pickups. And next, let's check out the latest game news. Yeah. So, as the program name suggests, the next new event is going to be Serial Mythological Theater Mississippi Mythicizers. Now, let's take a look at some of the stuff that's going on in the game. First, let's take a look at the prologue text. Oh boy. Michael, please. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, I should have warmed up for this. As Master and Mash enjoy a rousing conversation about Bunyan and her tall tales, reports of a minute singularity reach them. The target location, the Mississippi River Basin, in the early 21st century. The group immediately sets out to investigate, only to encounter a treasure ship, the Takarabune of Japanese legend, and dinosaurs, and delightful companions, or a ridiculous lot, depending on how you look at it, Chaos pours in from all ages, and at the center of it all, a new and different Bunyan makes herself known. Join me and become one of my delightful companions, employees, so that we can create a new kind of myth. A curious tall tale journey to recover a holy grail begins. And action. Ooh, I could not uh, have done better. Look at you adding a little bit of acting oh, in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I, I am available. <laughs> That's why I have you read this all the time. <laughs> and I'm so glad you do because I'm sure that this is going places. <laughs> so we want to learn a little bit more about the event. Oh, I feel like that, that acting part is already, is already doing it for me. So, oh, you're uh, welcome. 
So now you have set a new standard for oh, uh, reading God, the prologue. Man. So, so, so this is what you're gonna expect. From yeah, each yeah. Time. I, uh, so every time I expect like a new, like new acting to it, and then and then uh -huh. and then, ultimately, uh -huh. when I have you do a collaboration one with Carl. <laughs> I mean, like, if, if you're expecting me to continue Whoa. developing the acting, like, are, Whoa. are you thinking I'm going to come in full method one day? Yeah, like, so, as so, a so, so Carl will read some, some part, like a narration uh -huh. part, whenever there's like the character dialogue, you just have to do it in the character's voice. <laughs> now I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am not. <laughs> and speaking of looking forward to it, uh, we have a video that was going to show you a little bit about what the Yes, event, let's get some of this exciting event. stuff going. So let's take a look at the video first. So a lot is happening in, in the, the video. Good old US the of good a. old US of A and a Japanese treasure ship. I, you, okay, so, so yeah, I mean, they, they get lost coming up the river sometimes. And if you're wondering why, why there's a Japanese treasure ship in the Mississippi River. Um, play the event. Yeah, play the event. Play, play the play, event. Play the event. There will be no spoilers in this house. And uh. then uh, <laughs> speaking of the events, let's go over some events, hints, and strategies. So the first part. Uh, main quest will be unlocked on a daily schedule, and players can progress by reaching a certain number of Bunyan Pay Points. You can get valuable rewards by exchanging the event items and Bunyan Pay Points, and you can also get 7 coins for a pull Bunyan, so that's very valuable if you want to level Bunyan to level 120, yeah. and then unlocking all the append skills. Yeah. And I mean, we, we plug this every time we do yeah. these event things, but this it remains the best way to get all of your materials and all of the other things like that that you want. So. And I've been doing uh, some uh, material farms outside of event it's recently. Not, yeah, it's not how I would choose to do it. <laughs> so definitely a lot of these uh, rare materials, they are either locked behind uh, very uh, high ev um, story quest, yeah. so you have to progress pretty far in the story in the main uh, scenario quest to mm -hmm. be able to do the free quest. Um, some of them are uh, getting behind a little bit more difficult um, and free quest and mm -hmm. even that you have to do a lot of runs for it. Um, that's why we always say events are the best time to save up and stock up on uh, valuable materials and and um, definitely a lot of these uh, ascension and leveling yeah, materials. Yeah, I, mean, so I can see a few things up. on this list that I'll be stocking yeah. up on. So, Also, we have a second part of hints and strategies. So you can clear free quests to collect excavation tools. And these excavation tools uh, include clink clink pickaxe, boom boom hammer, and diggy diggy shovel. <laughs> <laughs> and you can use these tools at dig sites and earn items and uh, bunion pay points. And then uh, I see the the skill gems. 
<laughs> yeah, I see. So that's what I was looking at. I was like, ah, skill gems. Ah, skill gems. I guess I'll be digging, won't I? So uh, again, uh, skill leveling materials, and we see a different set of materials that you can also earn from here as well. Uh, so definitely use this opportunity to uh, save up on these materials. Next, let's take a look at some of the event servants that will get bonus for this event. So the servants that you see on the screen will get attack strength bonus and bump point bonus for themselves and. Uh, if you have MASH on your team, then they get additional bomb points for all allies. So definitely use this opportunity. Next, we have event reward command codes that you can get by playing the event. So these are also very cute, delightful companion. The, yeah, indeed. Uh, for the people that have been following the Learning with Manga of Geo, yeah. uh, they know who they are. And the, Yes, they, they do. And uh, for those of you who have, have ever spoken to us at conventions or watched a number of our streams, uh, you'll know that one of our team members is really excited for one of these command codes. Yeah. Uh, uh, the destructive star. The destructive star, indeed. <laughs> um, and another is really excited for a big blue ox. Yeah. And then so, and all of these are also have the have a pretty valuable skills for having them ingrained to the command cards. Yeah, I just particularly at looking at uh, ignore defense is great. And a lot of the higher difficulty bosses mm -hmm. will start have uh, critical ray up, and, or even just spriggans. And they're they're going spriggans. to hurt a lot. Um, so you know, having them mm -hmm. in addition to you know, if your current lineup. Uh, it's more attack focused, doesn't yeah. have a lot of the buff removal uh, skill on them. So having these give you a, a give you a different approach, an additional yeah. uh, strategy that you can uh, play around with your mm -hmm. with your team compositions. So. Exactly. And that next new servants. All right here we go. Come on. So first, let's take a look at this video. <laughs> So, a new one star Lancer, Mary Anning, will be uh, implemented in the game. Did you know she got struck by lightning? Like, for, she actually got, that's why she's lightning Mary. Oh. Yeah. What, what, what can you tell me more? I, I don't know a whole lot about <laughs> being struck by lightning, but. The medical term, I think, is yeah. bad. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, no, she. I, so she was. Struck so by I can lightning. see that it was uh, implemented in the yeah. In the when, animation when she, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, don't hold up a hammer in a storm and think it'll give you superpowers. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I did. I, I also learned from this that that stones plus lightning is dinosaurs. Um, and and I, I do love the just like right at the end of the dog. Yeah, like, just I'm like, helping too. <laughs> <laughs> and normally, like when you, when you see the animation for the charges, like yeah. impactful, and yeah. the dog just go like, <laughs> like <"Poop."> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's her friend though, and she won't leave him behind for anything. And then for Mary Anning, she can be summoned through friend points. Yes. Summoned, and you can earn 15 servant coins each time you summon her. There will be also craft essence experience card from the summon. Mm -hmm. So if you are saving for opportunity to uh, level up certain craft essences mm. to level 100. Uh, this is your opportunity to do so. While well, maybe getting a brand new servant into the bargain. Yep. And then we have more. So let's take a look at the next video. <laughs> So, Dai Kokuten, uh, the four, the new four-star SR uh, caster will be available for summon in the uh, same court summon. What do you think about the animation? Those red eyes will haunt me for a very <laughs> long time. Um, I, I don't. I don't particularly want to contemplate a, a gazillion sets of red eyes in the dark. That's not... What, how about you, Albert? <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> yes, you know what we haven't talked about? We've done a one star, we've done a four star, there's a five star. There is a five star. Let's talk about the five star. Who could it be? Let's take a look. Chita, chita, chita. 
みんなの一票が私の力になるアメリカズスイートハンドオブダークです So, a new 5 star SSR Alter Ego Super Bunyan is here! Super Bunyan, yes. Super Bunyan. So,、uh, the animation is very interesting. Yeah, my, my own experience with、uh, putting likes on social media to use has been vastly different. Yeah. But、uh, like and share so you can summon、yeah. uh, Super Bunyan. <laughs> I mean, as, as you can see, she literally thrives off of your、yeah. likes.、So. And her illustration is、uh, very different than the Paul Bunyan we she, used to she know. Does, she does look very different than the Paul Bunyan that we, that we used to know. And,、yeah. But she remains、uh, completely adorable. Yep.、Um, I, I know that one of our team has been really excited、yes. for this sermon for, a, for some time. Finally.、Now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I, I do want to point out, because I imagine a lot of people have this question what's with the alligator? You play there's, the there's an out, yes, play, play the event. I was setting you up and you, and you knocked it out of the park.、Yeah. <laughs> play the event and find out why she's got an alligator on her shoulders. And don't try this at home. And next,、uh, we will have, of course, now we talk about all the new servants, we'll have a pickup summon available for Learning with Manga FGO collaboration event.、Uh, the Super Bunyan pickup summon, so Super Bunyan and Daiko Ken will be available on the pickup. In addition, there will be also、uh, three additional limited time craft essence、mm-hmm. uh, summonable in this lineup as well. In addition to the summonable craft, es- summonable craft essence, we also have event limited craft essence that you can、uh, get and max limit break them、mm-hmm. uh, if you just play the event.、Mm-hmm. So, this is, the, this is the card first day of filming. Uh, increase buster card effectiveness by 5% if you max limit breaks 8%, MP strength by 15% if you max limit break them and begin the battle with MP charge of 50%、um, if you have this card limit break、uh, limit broken. And you also increased、uh, the amount of、uh, excavation tool、mm-hmm. that you can get from the event.、Uh, so for the people that obviously、uh, play FGO and for the, for the new players,、mm-hmm. You know, having MP gauge charge of 50% at the beginning of battle, it's, it's, it's in a way kind of. There's. Like, it, it helps a lot. It, it helps by setting up the scale rotation differently. Now, obviously, there, there are different k i n d of r o t a t i o n that you can have, especially right now when you have uh, uh, Koyong Skaya. Yeah, there, there are、now. so many servants with 50%、yeah. charge either in one ability or、yeah. spread across two or three skills. Um, that starting out with 50% is almost as good as starting with 100, depending on who you're yeah. using. Like, especially like, you know, when, when we have you know, Oberon,、mm-hmm. Koyanskaya,、uh, Skasaha, and, and. Yeah, the, of... the, the charging economy for, for NPs、yeah. is now so different than it used to be a few years ago. And then, you know, by, by especially Buster, you know, you、mm-hmm. don't get MP back. By you know, attacking with the Buster Noble Phantasm.、Right. So, be able to save that 50%、mm-hmm. uh, for a later when you're facing a stronger enemy or be able to use that buff somewhere else、uh, yeah. is, is、uh, very useful. So. Yeah, and, and, and pairing that with the Buster and NP strengths,、so、you're getting、yeah. two different buffs、yeah. on the attack. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nice way to split up your,、um, your, your buffs. Yeah. And then here are the illustrators who、mm-hmm. uh, did this amazing,、uh, these amazing craft essence. And this time we actually got a comment from all the illustrators for did, the craft、yeah. essence. So, first let's take a look at the first one, which is from Tsukumo san, who illustrated first day of filming. Okay.、Uh, Michael, will you, will you, will you do <laughs>、okay. the honor of reading、uh, the comment? <clears throat> Okay.、Uh, when I received my instructions, the first thing I noticed was the characters we all know and love from learning with Manga FGO. My first reaction was they finally made it into the main game. Even though the purpose was to draw an illustration in my own style, I was concerned it would detract from Ryo's warm and jovial design style.、Uh, I remember repeatedly drawing and erasing multiple drafts in an attempt to find a good balance for the illustration. By the way, Delightful Writer is my personal favorite. <laughs> I think、uh, it's very interesting to know that, you know, obviously、um, each illustration artist h a v e、mm. their own style. Yeah. But when you have to illustrate an existing character, yeah. what do you do? And what are some of the concerns that you have to worry about? 
And, and I think what we, we have is a great example because I you can see the the characters mm -hmm. as they were originally designed, but you can see this this kind of different take on them, and it's mm -hmm. it's frankly adorable. Yeah, and then next. We have comments from Takuya Fujimasan who illustrated Adventure in the Kids Kingdom. And then a comment. Ah, yes, of course, I see where this is going. Yeah. Given the title of the CE is Adventure in the Kids Kingdom, I focused on making the three characters look innocent and energetic, especially through their expressions and poses. And showing off the belly button amplifies that energy. Uh, at the same time, I wanted everyone to focus on all three characters, so I worked hard to make sure the characters in the back wouldn't be hidden by the two in the front. Uh, I hope seeing this illustration will warm everyone's hearts. And then we always talk about that, you know, each illustration, especially for the craft essence, there's mm -hmm. always a story to yeah. tell. So seeing the kind of uh, the sport, the storyboarding idea kind of sort yeah. of, that process behind each illustration is always interesting. Uh, it's, it, and it, it is interesting just from because I'm not an artist and have mm. no skill at all in that area, it's interesting to hear what they think about when mm. they're working on something. So like, I have this character in the background, but I don't mm. want them to be swallowed up by the characters yeah. in the foreground. I, I mean, it's interesting to think about those things that are in their, the back of their minds while they're doing this. And, you know, to their credit, uh, Nursery Rhyme stands out really well back there. Yeah. And we have two more. So next, we have from Nezumi Doshi-san who illustrated Jurassic Dream. And when illustrating Jurassic Dream, the biggest thing I focused on was giving the characters outfits an adventurous feel. I designed the outfits to look cooling even in the dense jungle while maintaining the two characters' color palettes. Since Jurassic is in the title, I also included an Archaeopteryx and a baby Brachiosaurus, which are said to have lived during the Jurassic period uh, as the two characters' travel companions. Ever since I was young, I loved looking at dinosaur books from the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, and so it was a lot of fun to illustrate these two characters adventuring through the dinosaur world. That's two fairly fitting characters yeah. to be adventuring with dinosaurs, I have to give them that too. That's <laughs> very cute. It, it is, it's uh, like, I, yeah, the, the outfits are kind of great. <laughs> Does that Brachiosaurus have goggles? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that's like really, really cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And then we have uh, one last comment from Keito Kobume-san, who illustrated Pleasure Hunt. So here's the comment. All right. uh, I took great care to illustrate something realistic and ambient while trying to preserve the comical illustration style Ryo-sensei, who I greatly admire, employs. Uh, I paid particular attention to the contrast between the dazzle and the dirt. Uh, the character's eyes and QP are beautifully bright, while her tools and clothes are dirty. The fossils on the walls and ceiling are essentially her life, so I was careful not to let the QP excavation theme overshadow that. I, okay, I see the fossils on the ceiling now that they have been pointed out to me. Yeah. Uh, that's, there's something cozy about this illustration. I'm struggling to put my finger on it, but... I think it's the, the, the lighting. I like think you're the, right. Yeah. Like the, the... The like warm yellow yeah. from up top and the blue lighting from, yeah, the way that that's... Also, I've never thought about excavating QP like that, if that makes sense. <laughs> I, I guess if, if we were ever going to think about it that way, it would be in a Rio event. Yeah, since, since you know, every time I'm, I'm just imagining us busting down doors <laughs> and then just be like, ah! Collecting the QP, so... This is the honest way to make your QP. <laughs> Good to make you your QP. go digging for it. <laughs> So thank you all four illustrators for your amazing comments and uh, yeah, give us a little you. bit of, about what was it like illustrating all yeah. this um, amazing craft essences. And so with every event, of course, we have an animation trailer. We do, don't we? So let's take a look. So, that very adorable trailer was, yeah, was animated by A1 Pictures. And after tonight's program, it will be uploaded to the Aniplex USA official YouTube channel. So, definitely check it out again. Watch it once, watch it twice, watch it on half speed. You know the drill. Yep. So, when is the new event coming out? When indeed? Oh, do when you, want me, to, do you want me to say it? Indeed. I'll give you the honor. Oh, of wow. Okay, it. okay. okay. <clears throat> give me your script. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. So, this event will start right after this stream tonight. Yeah! 
Uh, you only have to clear Singularity F Flame Contaminated City Fuyuki to participate. So we hope uh, all the existing masters, all the new masters will be able to participate in the event and earn a lot of rewards and materials. But we have a little bit more. So we also have a Learning with Manga FGO collaboration event commemorative quest. And to celebrate the event, uh, the quest where players can battle servants appearing in Learning with Manga FGO will be available for a limited time and clear the quest to get new craft essence. Next, we also have a wallpaper present campaign. So share the Mississippi Mythicizer special site on social media and get an original wallpaper for your phone. So go check it out. And finally, we have reached our social media goal. Yay! So there was a social media uh, campaign for this event, and we have reached that goal. Thank you everyone to who participated. Good job, guys. As a reward, everyone will receive 16 cords in a few days, so please check out your present box later. And that's it for that's it. the stream that's today. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed the event. And, Thank you for being with um, us. We'll see you guys in the future. Sometime. Sometime. We don't know when. Bye. Bye.